The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Birch. Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, I've been talking about comic news for uh, off and on for a long time, and the fact that there, there really isn't any, at least not, not really good quality comic book news. Part of this is uh, just the internet in general and kind of the business model behind quote unquote news. It's based on, you know, clickbait and ads and things that are counterproductive to actually news and excitement for the comics themselves. You know, once upon a time back in the 90s, you had Wizard, which was a magazine that would come out and it would promote comics. But more than anything, it was it was intentional. If you get a, if you get away from kind of all the stated objectives, its intention was to sell copies of itself. And so the way that it believed it could do that was by creating an exciting collectible style magazine. It's why they started including things like, you know, get a free ash can or trading card in with the copy of Wizard. But also a lot of the features were, you know, they built on themselves. Here are some uh, top trending artists and writers right now. Here's a kind of a limited price guide. Here's a behind the scenes look. And next month there'll be another one. And Wizard did a really good job of reaching out to members of kind of comic creators that I'm members of comics and doing a little bit of a, you know, you scratch our back, we'll scratch yours type method. Uh, a number of artists were contacted saying, you know, we can't pay you to do this article, but we can feature you. And part of being a successful comic artist in particular is promotion. So, you know, you, you help us with this like two page, here's how to draw, you know, hands. And, you know, in return, we'll put your name there. We'll call you a you know, big artist and, and, and like it, it worked. And it was, you know, and, and if, by the way, nobody felt exploited in this. The comic artist uh, got some promotion. In some cases, got a small little check, but not by much. Uh, but, you know, they, they got promotion. They got their name out there. The Wizard Magazine got material for themselves. Everybody won. It was a nice symbiotic relationship of how news worked. Well, fast forward to 2023. And news itself is is just very, very different. You know, th this is the the weirdest, craziest part. And uh, some of the senior editors at these pop culture comic book sites would probably disagree with what I'm about to say. But it's this. There's actually no incentive for the news site to sell and promote comics. That may sound weird because it's a news site about comics. And you would think, you know, one plus one equals two, meaning... If the comics are popular and if things are promoted there, then the new site would do better. But that's really not how a lot of uh, clickbait and stuff like that works. Marvel or DC's relative strength really, really is divorced from the site. And more than that, a fans getting excited about a particular comic or storyline is also not particularly uh, you know high on their list. What is, is pulling people in with a headline. That's why you see so many like top 10 reasons that Captain Marvel is better than Mrs. Marvel. And the, the goal there is to put a bunch of SEO keywords into the article that have it, you know, show up on, on sites that they can casually bait people in. But there's, there's, it's purposely designed for, for casual readers. It's not designed for people who are always there. Here's a, an email on this topic around CBR, which is one of these sites, it's relatively short, it says, Perch, hey there, despite CBR going through some employee changes, it's just a bait and switch. See, it, it's not really a bait and switch, it's a bait and stay the same. <laughs> it's a bait and be the same. Anyway, CBR is still doing their same old shit, but they changed how their AI-generated titles work. Additionally, CBR has added more ad banners. CBR has also tweaked their embedded videos to where the videos will resume playing again after a few seconds of you manually pausing them. In other words, CBR hasn't changed a bit. They're now more desperate for ad revenue. And that's, that's the mill. And that's, that is fundamentally the problem. Um, the, you know, as long as uh, these sites are reliant on, in particular, you know, click ad revenue or view ad revenue that comes from Google or, or other places. The, the challenge is with Wizard, for an example, they made their money by getting people excited about comics. And it was a direct one to one correlation. They got money when you bought their magazine. You bought their magazine because you wanted to read it or you liked it. And they got paid. With new sites today for comics, you go to the site 
maybe accidentally, or you don't care about comics at all, and you're interested in movies, and you're curious who Moon Knight is, and an article pops up in Google that says, you know, top 10 things you never knew about Moon Knight. And you you click on that, and, and you're reading the article, but really your mentality is, how do I avoid the ads? Which is the mentality of most of the people going to these sites. They, they nobody like when was the last time you went to a web page that had ads on it and one of the ads showed you something you actually had interest in? That was, that was something you actually wanted to engage with. Has that ever happened to you? It it has never happened to me. Ever. I've gone to tons of sites, you know, and tons and I use an ad blocker now anyway, but but I go to tons of sites and there's never a case where it's like, hot damn, I want to see what this thing is advertising for me. Ever. The primary goal is to get away from it. That's that's what you're after. That's really the that's that's all you want to do. That's all, the only engagement you want to have with this site is how you avoid it. And if that's the mentality, again, think about how these companies are making money. Their goal is to write just enough of uh, you know loose content that they can put up uh, an article that hopefully has good keywords in it that may trick people into coming. And then they're hoping to just get as spam as many you know views, clicks, metrics as humanly possible. It's why they'll put ads you know deceptively kind of under links in the hopes that you accidentally click on the ad instead of the link. So the goal is not to get you excited about comics. The goal is not to, you know, promote comics in any way. The goal is to just see how many clicks of ads they can possibly get in an article before they, you know, throw up the next one four hours later and go through the whole cycle again. And that's that inherently is is broken. And if we think about kind of comics and why people aren't excited and, and how you promoted people and everything else, I keep coming back to the lack of good news sites, the lack of of uh, these kinds of promotional activities is a major factor. Now, I'm not pining for the return of Wizard. I, I mean, it, it'd be fine. I, I think a product like Wizard, though, needs to exist. There needs to be something out there that gets people, you know, more or less excited about comics themselves. And to throw one more thing about it, you look at kind of the, you know, YouTube channels and other podcasts and things about comics. Well, I, you know, th- there's a lot of views. And there certainly is a lot of irritation within comics and, and certainly within these news sites that Chris Arant, uh, you know, is on record multiple times talking about how YouTube is terrible and a lot of these channels, channels like mine, are, are bad for comics. I would argue the opposite. Channels like mine are actually getting people to engage with comics mentally at least a little. My goal is is not to get ads. That's my goal is to, uh, there's no super chats. And as I said before, if I could take away the ads, it didn't completely, you know, it, Google just stops featuring you completely. Uh, you know, I tried, what, three months ago? I read real fairly recently. Again, just pulling the ads off a couple of videos to see what would happen. They didn't get one quarter of the views. And they didn't get a quarter of the views because they were never promoted in the first place. It's 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 a completely screwed up system. But anyway, I, I no, I, you know, it's not. I get it. Google and, and YouTube, this is how they're making their money. They need to get paid. You know, everybody needs to get 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 paid. So I understand. But but regardless, um, this is the broken aspect of comics because channels like mine or channels, even channels that are super negative about things. I mean, look. Even, uh, you know, Buddy Wes over at Thinking Critical posting a video about this DC thing is a massive flop and disappointment. It's like a picture of him in the, the thumbnail looking like, I'm, I'm disappointed. You know, even videos like that, when people go to click on them, there's still an aspect of I want to, you know, I want to hear about comics. Uh, comics is still something I, I want to to pay attention to. And so mentally, they continue to be engaged to comics, which is a much different business proposition than if, uh, you know, say West put an ad every 10 seconds into his video going, you know, hey, have have you thought about uh, weight training? And what about this protein powder? And have you bought this dress on Amazon? It's really popular, whatever. That's uh, that that's the that's the challenge. So CBR, I mean, look, you also can't be too negative about CBR because CBR is what it is. It it. It, it was never meant to be something else or, or I don't know, maybe it was in its origins, but 
it, it definitely isn't now, and it hasn't been for a long time. And neither is Newsarama, neither is Bleeding Cool. Bleeding Cool is a different level of hell. But a lot of these sites, you know, their their goal is to you know scrape out whatever ad money they can. Their goal is not to get you excited about comics and grow the comic book industry. And somebody needs to. Definitely the publishers have a responsibility here. The retailers have a responsibility for sure. But a missing element is this news of marketing, promotion, and, and information that catches people up, gets people excited. Anyway, let me know what you think. Is there any news site out there you like? What do you like? I, I think this is, you know, again, I've, I've mentioned this before, like in the top five problems that comics face right now, this is probably in that top five of having a very effective kind of marketing news information location to get people excited about comics, keep people in comics. That That is probably one of the bigger problems that, that needs fixing. Anyway, but, but maybe I'm off. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and thanks for listening.